Hi, I'm Elena Brownfield, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about my final research project. I decided to write a paper on how John Grant's work is still used in today's society and how it relates to the coronavirus pandemic. Let's get started. First, what do you guys remember about John Grant? If you can think back to our first problem set at the beginning of the semester, I know, seems like forever ago. We talked about Grant in this problem set. He was a mathematician from the 1600s and was ultimately known as the first demographer and epidemiologist. He created the first life table and worked on the bills of mortality in his book called Natural and Political Observations. The life table is a description of how the number and population, all born on the same day, falls with age until all have died. So you might be thinking, how does Grant still matter? Well, to start off, John Grant still matters because his work is see still seen today and is used by modern epidemiologists and demographers. He created stepping stones for them. I read from an article that Grant also published an early version of the life table, which has been further developed by other mathematicians. But the statistical concepts of his life table remain today the fundamental elements of dem demographic method. This is a prime example of how his work is still used. His creation of the life table is still being used today, according to McDonald. When we look at the coronavirus pandemic happening right now, you can see John Grant's work resembled in the statistical tables and charts. There's an extremely close resemblance to Grant's life tables and bills of mortality. On the website, Worldometer, there is a table of all the countries in the world with statistics on the coronavirus happening right now. Here's a screenshot of the Worldometer that was from data from today. It's updated every day and gives you the statistics on the current day and the day before. It shows total cases, new cases, total deaths, new deaths, total recovered, active cases, serious, critical cases, total cases with 1 million population and the rest. And they have all the countries. So this website has every country and all the statistics for every country for this coronavirus. This resembles Grant's work in the natural and political observations. In Grant's findings, he provides tables and charts with similar qualitative data. And one of his tables in the bills of mortality, a table of the christenings of mortality, it provides similar data, such as data of births, deaths, people infected with the plague, and more. So, a major topic in the sixth grade math curriculum is learning about tables, graphs, and charts. In the connected math curriculum specifically, investigation six to seven, data about us, you will learn different ways to collect, organize, display, and analyze data. So students learn how to create tables, graphs, and analyze them and use them to interpret data during these grades. However, many students never learn where the things they learn come from. Teachers often forget to include the historical aspect behind everything they teach. With a pandemic, this would be the perfect time to include John Grunt into his find into and his findings into the classroom. When students understand where this information comes from in history, they're able to connect to the work and gain a deeper understanding. Teachers can integrate the history of John Grant and use his original tables and problems for their students. To make it even better, with a pandemic happening, teachers could have their students recreate their own life table based on Grant's original work on Desmos or Excel sheets, where they can make their own predictions about the coronavirus happening. They can analyze, analyze patterns they might see in statistics, and go off of them to predict if the number of cases and deaths continue to go up or start to go down. My question for you, I want you to brainstorm. Imagine you are a sixth grade teacher in math right now during the coronavirus pandemic. How could you integrate historical, as historical aspects into your math classroom, such as John Grant, to help your students understand what's happening in the world? I want you to come up with an activity you could do with your students where you integrate math, history, and technology related to John Grant and the coronavirus.
Thank you. That's all.